Welcome to Hand Surgery Resources YouTube channel. This video will highlight the major symptoms, signs, and treatment options for ganglion cysts of the wrist. In this clinical photo, the arrow is pointing to a large ganglion in the dorsum of the left wrist. A patient with a ganglion typically complains that he or she has a lump on the dorsum of the wrist. Some patients are concerned that the lump is cancer. However, ganglion cysts are benign. Ganglions often slowly enlarge, but can get smaller and enlarge again. Pain is usually minimal. Extreme wrist motion and or vigorous palpation can cause some ganglion tenderness. On examination, the cyst has a well-defined smooth surface. The cyst is loosely attached to the surrounding tissues and is minimally tender on direct palpation. The location and size is carefully noted. Cyst location helps to find which carpal joint ligament is the origin of the ganglion. The size and border of the cysts are well-defined by palpation. The contour of the cyst is checked. Palpation also verifies the degree of attachment of the cyst to the skin, tendons, and wrist joint. The size and exact location relative to the wrist intercarpal ligaments is also noted. Ganglions have a unique appearance on ultrasound. The size, location, and relationship to the surrounding tissues can be evaluated with ultrasound. MRI can also identify and localize ganglion cysts. At the arrow, a ganglion cyst in Guillain's canal is adjacent to the hook of the handmate. In this location, the cyst can compress the ulnar nerve. Treatment options once the diagnosis is established by history, examination, and ultrasound include observation or aspiration with or without cortisone injection, or aspiration and application of a short arm cast for three weeks, or surgical excision of the ganglion. Aspiration of a ganglion can be a therapeutic alternative for a ganglion cyst. In addition, ganglion aspiration can provide diagnostic assurance to the patient and the physician. Before aspirating, either the wrist or a finger ganglion, the area should be thoroughly prepped with an antiseptic solution like alcohol. The surgeon should use sterile gloves. Second, the area of the cyst is anesthetized with lidocaine. Occasionally, a cold spray alone is adequate. Third, the proximity of the ganglion to surrounding nerves, veins, and arteries should be assessed in order to avoid these vital structures during the aspiration. The fourth step is to aspirate the cyst with an 18-gauge needle and an appropriate size syringe. Usually, a 5cc syringe is adequate. The surgeon should be able to feel the needle penetrate the skin and then the cyst wall. Once in the cyst, a clear, thick mucinous material should be drawn into the syringe. The thickness of this mucinous material can make aspiration difficult occasionally. The cyst should visibly deflate. Then the needle is withdrawn when the syringe stops filling. The fifth step is to manually express any remaining mucinous material through the needle track. A relatively large amount of additional material can occasionally be removed with this maneuver. The sixth step is to show the patient the aspirated material because it is pathognomonic of a ganglion and as diagnostically accurate as an excisional biopsy. Finally, a small band-aid or dressing is applied to the needle track. This operative photo shows a ganglion cyst after a transverse dorsal incision. Here, the excised ganglion is shown with an arrow pointing at its stalk. The extensor tenons are also visible in the incision. Finally, this surgical image shows the scaphalunate ligament. This ligament is the origin of the previously excised ganglion cyst. The capsular defect created by the excision of the ganglion stalk is also seen in the depths of the image. In addition, the retracted extensor tendons are shown. Let us review the key points. Ganglion cysts of the wrist can occur on the top or bottom of the wrist. Ganglions are not usually painful, especially when they are large enough to see and palpate. Ultrasound or an MRI can confirm the clinical diagnosis. Recurrence after aspiration is common, but rare after surgery. Ganglions are benign cysts. 
Thank you for watching our YouTube video on ganglion cysts. For more information, sign in to our teaching tool at www.handsurgeryprimer.org and in late 2017, see our online text, Hand Surgery Source, at www.handsurgeryresource.org. Thank you.